And here in Georgia, Monday is sign die, the last day of the current legislative session, meaning Monday is also the deadline for any bill to receive a final vote. Right now, there are some bills that have already passed and are just waiting on Governor Kemp's signature. One of those bills, dubbed constitutional carry, will soon allow Georgians to carry a handgun in public without a license. Supporters say it helps people defend themselves against violent crime. Critics argue it eliminates an important check on people who are not allowed to have guns to begin with. It's still illegal under the bill for convicted felons to carry weapons. Governor Kemp says he plans to sign it. And a bill against critical race theory in schools is now waiting on Governor Kemp's signature as well. The bill makes it illegal to teach children that the state or nation are systematically racist, using language to curb the teaching of race relations. It also orders school boards create a complaint resolution policy for parents if they don't like what's being taught at their kid's school. Governor Kemp has also vowed to sign that bill. And the governor is expected to sign a key mental health reform bill on Monday as well. Among many mandates in the bill, it's a requirement for commercial insurance companies to provide equal coverage for both mental and physical health care. This one's been unusual because both lawmakers in the House and Senate unanimously passed it.